So we're, what we're going to cover here is the um, making a calibration block so that you determine exactly what the kerf of the cut is. So if you want a part with very tight tolerances, you can dial in exactly what the width of the cut is so that your resulting piece is exactly the dimensions you want it to be. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to take uh, a piece of scrap metal uh, and we're going to cut a little square out of it, a quarter inch by quarter inch square. Um, at least that's what we're going to tell it to cut. And then we're going to measure what it actually is. And then if it is, um, if it's, you know, we'll, we'll tell it the difference between what it, we wanted and what it actually is, and it'll calculate what the offset should be. There are a bunch of reasons why you might want to calibrate the offset of your cut. Um, as the mixing tube ages, it the orifice grows a little bit, so the width is going to increase with time, so you want to compensate for that. But also cutting in different materials can change the size uh, of the offset, uh, different speeds, other factors. So if you want to make sure you're getting good tolerances, doing an offset calibration could be a good thing to do. Um, so first I'm just going to measure the thickness of this material, uh, clamp it into the water jet, um, and then we're going to cut the following file. So I brought the file in here, uh, mounted the piece of aluminum, um, and have the curve for the offset set to the inside because we're trying to measure the ID, the inside distance diameter of the um, dimension, excuse me, of this piece of aluminum that because the inside piece is going to fall out. Uh, we really just need any two sides to, to put the calipers across. So we'll begin machining. I'm just going to put the shroud down. And go. This is not easy. Um, all right, so we'll unclamp this. So here on the left is our little hole. So we're gonna grab the calipers. Uh, these are just digital ones. Bring it, make sure it's zeroed. And then we're gonna measure the internal distance of here. Uh, and we're gonna measure it at the top. So at, when, the, when the water jet cuts, it creates a taper in the shape, or in the shape of a V um, because the water is more powerful up at the top, it's cutting away more material, and by the time it gets to the bottom, um, it's just, just punching through. So, and that's, that's when you're optimizing for speed. So if you set it to a quality of five, and it's going much more slowly, so it has full cutting all the way across, so it has much less taper. But at higher speeds, um, you're gonna have a sharper, more intense taper. Another thing to note is that at especially slow speeds, you can have an inverted taper. So the abrasive, as it comes down, is already cut through the material, and because you're traveling so slowly, uh, it starts to widen out as it gets to the bottom, and the taper goes from being shaped like this to like that. And that would be an indication that you want to speed up a little bit. So here we're measuring um, at the top of the taper, which is where it wants us to get the measurement from, 0.2425. So we're, we're seven and a half thousandths of an inch away from what we want. So we'll go back into the path setup and we'll change it. Uh, we'll go click on this button say our design width was in fact a quarter of an inch. Uh, however, the top width was actually 0.2425, um, which, and this is the inside. So it's saying that our tool offset should be 0 0.0112 inches. Um, so 
0112 goes here. It automatically put that in. So now we'll cut another square and see if that gives us exactly a quarter inch. Okay, so the piece of metal is remounted um, and we're going to, again, put this guy down um, and begin machining. See what we get here, start. Alright, so we have the black aluminum out, and this is the, um, the hole, and I'm getting exactly 0 .2500 inches. Um, so that's pretty great. Um, obviously, so we, we cut with a quality of three, so there's a, there's a somewhat significant taper. So if you're cutting down to the thousandth, that taper is going to be very significant to you, so then you're probably going to be cutting with a higher quality, so there will be less taper. Um, so bear that in mind. So in this case, we were calibrating for the top of our cut. Um, if you were, you know, if you cared only, you know, about the smallest dimension, then then that might change depending on which how your what your where your tolerance matters. Um, but that is how to create your the proper offset in um, for the for the water jet. Hope that was useful. Another thing to note is that at especially slow speeds, you can have an inverted taper. So the abrasive as it comes down is already cut through the material and because you're traveling so slowly uh, it starts to widen out as it gets to the bottom and the taper goes from being shaped like this to like that and that would be an indication that you want to speed up a little bit.